Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance, beauty, and wellness. And if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe, subscribe. Okay y'all, before we start this video, I want to, I, I've mentioned that people have requested for me to tell what I do for my wash and go and what my lip combo is for the day. So if you wanna see how I achieve this wash and go, Please check out my hair routine video. Um, I will link it above, check it out. It's the same products in that video that I use for this wash and go. And on my lips today, I have Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in Cherry. And that's it because this is Sunday. This is uh, hair washing day. I, I finished doing that. It's also get ready for the work week day and and also my eyes it's something going on with my eyes like i have a rash or something that's this annoying it's itching and annoying and so i was just i'm not putting on any makeup so we have to keep it pushing though because we have things to talk about that i'm behind on and one of them is the latest flanker from the ysl black opium line over red so I'm going to tell you all my thoughts and we're gonna talk about this latest flanker from Black Opium. So this Black Opium Over Red is described as a floral fruity gourmand fragrance for women. It was released this year, 2024. It has top notes of cherry and green mandarin, middle notes of orange blossom, jasmine, and black tea, base notes of Madagascar vanilla, coffee, and Indonesian patchouli leaf. Let me get my, y'all, it just blank what this is, Lord. Test fragrance strip, test your strip. <laughs> okay. So when I first, and I've worn this fragrance, when I first smelled this fragrance, I thought this smells very similar to the original Black Opium with a hint of cherry. Now today on this on the on this paper it's like I'm picking up more cherry, but it still smells like the original black opium to me with on my skin I didn't get as much cherry, but I will say I didn't try to amp up the cherry with my routine because I was trying out something else that I had to review. So I didn't go all out trying to, you know, amp that cherry up. But on this paper, honey, today, that cherry is a little potent. But I will say when I wore it, it didn't last, the cherry did not last for the duration. I smelled like a little bit of cherry in the beginning and then the dry down of the fragrance, it reminded me more of, okay, let, let's start this. When I first smelled this fragrance, when I wore this fragrance, I said, well, this is just the original black opium with a little bit of cherry added, you know, a little bit of fruitiness in the beginning, okay? As it wore, as the day wore on, as I was smelling it more, I said, okay, now I'm getting um, more in the dry down that it smells like black opium Le Parfum. So it's like a mixture of of the original black opium in and especially in the beginning and then in the dry down it smells a lot like Le Parfum which is another flanker of black opium. Um in my opinion it just wasn't mind blowing to me um I like it when I wore it I, I remember thinking at first going, why did they even do this? I don't even smell any cherry, really. And then as it dried down, I said, okay. It, it's reminded me so far of my favorite black opium, which is the Le Parfum, so that's good. But where is the cherry? Where is the cherry? And the cherry is in the top note. And usually, I mean, it's not with all fragrances, but usually that top note the fragrance in the top note, they don't, sometimes they don't last throughout. That's why you have to wait for the dry down of a perfume to see if you like the dry down because that's what you're stuck with. 
I mean, that's your, that's what you're going to be smelling the majority of the time you're wearing a fragrance is the dry down. And the dry down in this fragrance is the, is Madagascar vanilla, coffee, and then that Indonesian patchouli leaf. And that, and I guess that's what I'm getting. And maybe that's why it's reminding me of Le Parfum in the dry down because of that vanilla. That's, that's, that's the only thing I can come up with. Because the the Black Opium Le Parfum is the one that I call the vanilla, a lot of people call the vanilla Black Opium. And maybe that's why, like right now, okay, let me take a deep breath. It's still just a little bit of cherry. It's not, it's, I wanted a heavier cherry note. <sighs> What, Black Opium has so many flankers that I can't even count them all. Some have already been discontinued. I mean, they just, I don't even know how many flankers there are of Black Opium. I, I feel like, okay, cherry fragrances have been really popular. I can see wanting to get on the cherry train, okay? And this is nice for that. If you like the original Black Opium and you just want it, a little bit of cherry mixed in, just a little bit of fruitiness mixed in there, then this is nice. Like, I'm not going to say it's, it's bad because it's not. Well, I am over flankers. <laughs> I mean, I'm looking at 2024. We're in 2024, okay? And I'm looking at the new fragrance releases. And it's, again, just like 2023 and 2022, but especially 2023. It's still looking like flanker after flanker after flanker after flanker. It's like me when I think of the movies. You're remaking everything. Can you give me something new? Can you give me something original? I mean, even if it's not super original, can you give me something that's not a flanker? But I still will try the flankers. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm tired of the flankers. I'm tired of it. So would it would I say this was a necessary addition to the black opium line? I can't remember how they all smell, y'all. It's a pink one, it's a green one, it's a blue one. It was uh the the coffee creamer one. It, it was it's a lay parfum, which I do love, and I plan to get a full bottle of that one whenever I use up my original black opium. Um but like, was this a needed addition? You tell me, because I, I don't know how all of the flankers smell. But to me, you can achieve this if you have the original black opium. Okay. And you just mist it on uh, some, some cherry, like a cherry perfume or a cherry mist. It's ways to achieve this fragrance. If you, if you know how to layer, it's ways to achieve this fragrance over red without purchasing a full-size bottle which i know uh the 3.4 ounce i can't i know it must be over 150 because prices are skyrocketing for fragrances so but if you don't know how to layer then yeah if you want a cherry version of black opium this is for you i don't think you're going to didn't it, would I say this is a gourmand? They say it's described as a floral, fruity gourmand. I mean, in the sense of I can smell the vanilla, I can smell the cherry, I can smell the coffee. In that sense, this is not an edible gourmand. It is, it's just not. Because some, some people think, like I used to, when you say gourmand, it means it smells like it's edible, honey. And this doesn't smell edible to me. It doesn't. But for a coffee fragrance, yes. So it, it is, I will say it's gourmand in that sense. Now, the longevity on me was... It was good. Um, it lasted more on my clothes. I feel like on my skin, I got six to eight. I think I got I got six hours where I could just easily smell it, but then certain parts I couldn't. 
I would say six to eight hours. I felt like from where I sprayed behind my ears that I could smell that the whole day. And on my clothes, it lasted really, really well. So is this going to be a full bottle for me? Ugh. Okay, let, let, let's break it down like this. I have the original black opium that I never wear. It's been in my collection for years. That's why I'm, it's in my project, use it up. And guess what, y'all? I still haven't touched it. I don't know what it is. Now, the Le Parfum, the, the travel spray, use it up and loved it. So let me use this one up because just from the, the couple times I've worn it and smelling it now, I wouldn't say it beats Black Opium Le Parfum for me just yet. It, it really doesn't. It would be in second place. It would be. So I'm not, would I buy um, a full-size bottle of Black Opium Le Parfum and a full-size bottle of Black Opium Over Red? Ain't no way, no how, no. Because it's not different enough to justify and the bottles look pl practically the same too. It's, I think it's the same matte, kind of not matte, but shiny plain black bottle. And then the over red, I think has just like a red tint or something. It's, it looks just like the, the Le Parfum. I don't think it's enough of a difference to justify for me and my collection spending that much money on two of basically the same fragrance with just minute differences. Like, no, because I mean, I could layer like that's that's all I keep thinking. So after I use this one up, I will know for sure which one I want to get a full bottle of. It will either it will lay parfum like right now, but still winning like that's still the one. I want because I got I received so many compliments wearing that I thoroughly enjoyed wearing it I don't know something about it made me feel so pretty so effortlessly pretty and feminine and elegant wearing that fragrance and it dressed up dressed down didn't matter it, it, it I just love it I that one had this over red has not reached that level hasn't reached that status yet but we'll see if it reaches it after I finish this travel spray but for now this is not full bottle worthy for me, but like I said, if if you're one that doesn't like to layer, because some people don't want to fool with layering, and you you wanted a fruitier, like a, a cherrier version of black opium, this is a good one. I have it's not a bad fragrance whatsoever, not at all. But I will say, if you have the the lay black opium lay parfum. Please don't blind by this. Go smell it. Go test it and wear it on your skin. Get See if you can get a sample from somewhere at Sephora, Ulta, if they even give samples anymore. And to see if you, if it's a, if it, if it's a different enough to justify you purchasing it. Because everybody's skin chemistry is different. Everybody's smells, interprets the fragrance differently. So I'm not going to say it's not worth it because it's a nice fragrance. But for me and my collection, we're waiting. Um, I, well, I'm not getting a full bottle of either one of them right now because Black Opium, I'm, I told you I'm not getting a, a new bottle of Black Opium until I finish the original. So, but when I finish this uh, travel spray, I will be able to tell you definitively in, one, in an empties video, if I'm if I decided to still stick with Le Parfum, which I'm 99.9% .9 sure that's the way it's gonna go, or if I decide to get this one, I really don't think so though, you all. While I like it and I enjoy wearing it, I didn't feel that love that I felt for the original, well, for Black Opium Le Parfum. So at this time, Black Opium Over Red is not a full bottle uh, purchase for me. And unless I drastically change my mind, which is my prerogative to do, I feel like once I finish this travel spray, I feel like 
this is gonna be it for me because Le Parfum won't leave my mind. Like I miss it. Even though I have this and I've worn this and I'm gonna continue to wear it, I'm, I, I still think about Le Parfum. So that is telling me that this one is not winning, at least not yet. All right, y'all. So if you enjoyed this review of Black Opium Over Red, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below, y'all. Let's talk about it. Tell me your thoughts. Do you agree with, with my review of Black Opium Over Red or is this your new love, honey? Please, let's, let's talk about it. I want to know y'all's thoughts. Are you like me and looking at the fragrance releases from 2024 and going seriously again? You're just going to give us flankers again? I'm more excited for fragrance mist I'm seeing being released than I am for, 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 for perfumes because it's all flankers. So y'all let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think about Black Opium Over Red and let me know what y'all thinking about of the continuation of Flankerville that we are experiencing in the fragrance community. Please share this video with everyone, you all, because we're trying to level up and keep it growing in 2024. And please don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos. And as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.